Hello, Pete Reviewer from the Twister. Who reviews? Are they reviewing The Flash? Central City Strong. And in this, the residents of uh, Central City are just uh, cleaning up after a mere monarch's uh, rampage from the last episode, and people just volunteering of every building. The buildings and, and that. But then there's this uh, time quake. Um, Abracadabra shows up. And it's in a chaotic mood. And he just uh, drops some uh, a future hints to the flash and that. And also, uh, Iris is doing this uh, story on uh, this uh, a therapy group filled with people that are trapped in the mirrorverse. But uh, she isn't really ready to deal with her own uh, uh, trauma from the mirrorverse uh, thing. And after uh, Abracadabra gets uh, captured by Argus, he actually does the actually won't go there to just uh, get some 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 there. And turns out he's building an anti matter bomb that can uh, destroy an entire city. And it's only uh, talking to Iris that the Flash realizes why uh, Abracadabra is doing this because it turns out after a uh, crisis. His family wasn't around. There, there, one, there are a few of, of the, of the people that have returned after the crisis event. And that's when uh, Cadaver is about to after that air bomb. Barry actually uh, talks him down, and they have a bit of a good moment. Yeah, Abra even. Says what his real name is and gives his name of his family members. But then this Hulk and Behemoth shows up and Cadaver was planning there and Nyla with the anti matter bomb, but the thing actually uh, destroys it and actually kills Cadaver. Yeah, I guess the, the person supposed to be a hint or just uh, foreshadowing the speed of the, uh, the strength force. Um, also in the episode, uh, Barry's been trying, been trying to make up for uh, being tricked by Mere Iris to the real Iris by just uh, going on a whirlwind that uh, world tour. Uh, in the same talk, yeah, have Iris of the cadaver. He just she just tells him I try to get him over his guilt. And Sessie goes and deals with her uh, trauma by speaking to the terror group and actually promotes uh, Camilla, I think, to full time uh, employee for uh, the Central City Citizen. So that's good. And. Uh... Oh yeah, also in the episode, Caitlin and Killer Frost have been experiencing headaches. And according to the end credits scene, they can split apart now. Yeah, this is gonna be good. I mean, it is a good episode of the end of the... The scene with the stuff after the uh, mirror crisis. Or mirror world crisis, if you want to call it, but whatever. I'm just seeing uh, how it impacts uh, some of the characters in the episode or who are trapped in the Mirrorverse. Um, I do kind of like uh, Cisco and uh, 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 Chuck's uh, chemistry, and it's about uber nerds who like. Uh, uh, pop culture references, they even uh, had the Star Wars Marathon Day with uh, Chuck 
um, recommend they they watch them in the in the in a different order than usual. Um, um, um just go see a uh, Abracadabra again of the foreign his character. And at least now he's probably with his family. And um does that go to say that they're doing more with this with the force quest thing? And I don't know why Barry thinks there's any more a uh, multiverse. I, I thought uh, uh, Supergirl told him about the the people from different universes sewn up in the uh, natural city, but ugh, or whatever's going on. Or so oh, yeah, and a uh, Flashy and Supergirl song is going to be shown on the the thirty of March, so should be good. And uh, I'm thinking it's it is a good for the Irs like Irs's arc and stuff. So it's kind of good with her uh, denying there's a any tra any serious trauma from her time in the mirrors and uh, finally accepting them, the them all the words out or her feelings whatever. It's a decent episode, and actually going to be very good since fear. Is coming to a uh, central city. A uh, new uh, villain called Psych, who is uh, based on the one from the comic books of the same name. And I wonder if he, he's got the the sh shade the shades force or what. Uh, also, but how do I see? Um, I just wonder what Barry that uh, or what Barry fears is. I know it's probably a uh, Losing the people he cares about, mostly Iris, but I wonder what else they got to make him afraid of in it. That's what I'm going to say. Anyway, yeah, thanks for that. I'll see you guys.